here doesn't love Oreos. I love Oreos. You love Oreos. Everybody in the world loves Oreos. That's why they're the number one cookie cream biscuit that's selling in the world. Number one. But what if I told you that uh, you know Oreo was a ripoff? Hydrox is the OG cookie, the original cookie, and Oreo ripped them off. So hello everybody, welcome to CWC and the channel without a cool name. And in today's video, we're gonna look at Hydrox, what Hydrox was, and how Oreo might have just ripped them off. Now, to understand, you know, the history of Hydrox cookie, you need to understand the brand actually. So Hydrox was actually created by the company Leaf Brands and it debuted in the United States in 1908. Yeah, 1908. This cookie is that old. And it was manufactured by their sub-brand Sunshine Biscuits for over 90 years. And you know, Oreos were created after that. Now, look at this picture. This is Hydrox. This is Oreo. Can you tell me differences in them? You can see a lot of differences in them. The circular shape, the ridge etching on the sides, the floral plaid patterns, and even the positioning of the word Hydrox, even the font. If I kept a Hydrox and an Oreo cookie next to each other and told you to tell which was which from a distance, I highly doubt anybody would be able to do that. It's only after close inspection that you notice that the floral pattern is actually much much different. And even the name Hydrox is a very interesting choice because Hydrox is based on two gases. Yeah. The thing is, in 1908, when the cookie was created, the creators wanted a name that would convey purity and goodness because like literally all cookies and biscuits and baked goods at the time had a lot of dangerous stuff in them like lead which you know regulations were very soft back then so people were good whatever they want to make their cookies last better so because this cookie was supposedly pure they derived their choice of name from the component elements that constitute the model of water hydrogen and oxygen sunshine biscuits was actually purchased by another company keebler in 1996 and in 1999 keebler replaced hydrox with another product called droxies Keebler was acquired by Kellogg's in 2001 and Kellogg's removed Roxy's from the market in 2003. Kellogg's then marketed a similar chocolate sandwich cookie under their famous Amos brand, with, along with sandwich cookies of other flavors but has also discontinued the line. So this is the demise of, you know, Hydrox. But the thing is, Oreos had become so popular because they had a different marketing strategy. Instead of Hydrox, where Oreo would usually, you know, launch ad campaigns where kids talked about how amazing it was, how tasty the Oreo cookies were, you know, dunk them in water, twist them, lick them, however you eat your Oreos, they were very, very tasty. Hydrox had a very different approach to marketing though. Their ad campaigns constantly kept telling you that they were the first and the pure cookie. They were the first cream and cookie sandwich biscuit to ever exist and Oreo came after them. But the thing is, and this is my personal opinion, just because you're first in a category doesn't mean you're the best. On the on Hydrox's 100th anniversary, Kellogg's resumed distribution of Hydrox under the Sunshine label, with the first batches shipped in late August 2008. Hmm. But this one is a bit, next bit is even more weird because the Carvel ice cream company sold ice cream related goods manufactured with Hydrox cookie crumbs until 2012. In 2014, Leaf Brands, the original company that created Hydrox, registered the Hydrox trademark which had been abandoned by Kellogg's. Leaf began production of its new version of Hydrox on September 4, 2015 at the company's facility in Vernon, California. Leaf Brands filed a complaint with the U.S. Trade Federal Commission in 2018 against Mondelez International, which makes and owns the Oreo cookie brand now, for hiding Hydrox cookies from customers on store shelves. When the complaint came, the Federal Trade Commission sent agents into supermarkets all over the U.S. and looked into their Oreo aisles. And turns out, 
Oreo had been specially paying supermarkets and supermarket employees to hide Hydrox cookies behind Oreo cookies. So when somebody wanted to buy cookies, they'd go to Oreo, not Hydrox. And the even most cameo thing was they would even keep Hydrox cookies out of reach, such as the most bottom aisles or the most top of the aisles where you couldn't even see them. But they would keep Oreo cookies in plain sight so anybody could see them and buy them. Talking about today, Hydrox is very hard to find in US store shelves and you know, even on the internet as a whole. So Oreo is still the reigning champion, the knockoff. So that was the video guys. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, share and comment on the video. And you can also follow me on Instagram. The links in the description have underscore inbound bookworm37. And you can also join my Discord server. It's CWC and obviously the link to join both my Instagram and Discord are in the description. So until next time, I'll see you in another video.